What is this place? I don't think I've ever been here before. Oh shit, hi Gardevoir. What the fuck? You feel a slight ting in the back of your head. Ah, we have another visitor. Welcome, young one. Is there something standing beside this Gardevoir? Do not fret, young one. I have created a link between our minds in order to communicate in a manner of which you are familiar. Oh, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Greetings, young one, and welcome to the Gemini shop. You may call me Astra. Astra the Gardevoir. Okay, Astra, nice to meet you. Never met a Pokemon who could speak before. As I've stated before, young one, do not fret. I see that this is your first visit to our humble shop. Allow me to explain how things operate here. Every living being in this universe has a destiny. A destiny that can easily be lost or forgotten. We have created this shop with the idea of helping young trainers such as yourself. Stay on track with your destiny. Uh, okay. So, how do you know my destiny and how can you help me achieve it? I couldn't read that. <laughs> something, something, something. Come in contact with is revealed to me. In a rather narrow path, some are more fruitful than others. Behind me you'll see several statues. These statues are embedded with psychic energy, which will reveal certain key points in the reader's current life state. Once you complete a key point, you will be rewarded with a currency called Gemini Coins. Gemini Coins? I thought those things were just an urban myth. Oh god, hi Gallade. You shouldn't say things like that, kid. The easiest way to lose track of your destiny is disbelief. Okay, I'm sorry, shit. Don't be sorry, just stay focused. The name's Blades, kid. Pleasure to meet you. So we got Blades and Astra. Likewise, Blades. I'm sure that my sis gave you the proper rundown on how things work here, correct? Oh yeah, basically do things that contribute to finding my destiny and whatnot. Collect Gemini coins, then bring them back to you guys? Huh, smart kid. So, what exactly do you guys offer? We offer many things, from TMs, items, and even Pokemon to help you on your journey. Nice. Cool, sounds awesome. Here, kid, here's a little something to help you get started. Got some Gemini coins. Be sure to save those up. Let us know if you need anything, young one. Yeah, sure, thanks. Alright. So we got a, got a little astral, or not astral, Gemini shop. So let's see what they got for free. Feel free to browse my wares. So we have TMs, Incinerate, Calm Mine, and Charge Beam. Items, we have a Twisted Spoon, Ability Capsule, and the Eviolite. And for Pokemon, we have Spoink, Badoo, and Vulpix. Interesting. We meet again. Have you been saving your coins? Same thing? No, different things. Minchino, Meditite, and Axew. It takes a gift to train to unlock the true potential of this Pokemon. 40 Gemini coins. How many coins do I have? We have five Gemini coins. Okay, that's not a lot. Huh. Baby steps. Register for the Zion League. Reward, 5G coins. G called GC. Voidwalker. Clear the Cermic Battle House. Okay. I don't have time to read all these, but I'm guessing these are things we're going to be doing while we're on our journey. Which, I'm not sure if all these things are, like, mandatory. Like, we, we're going to do all these things anyway, just going through the game. Or if they're, like, side quests. Like, things we can do on our journey, but we don't have to do to, like, complete the game. Okay, so I'll have to keep my eye out for stuff like that. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Got a little Gemini shop here. Is this like the only place we can go to go to for the Gemini shop? Or are there like other Gemini shops elsewhere that we can go to? Or do we have to come back to the, to here every time? I don't know, but you know. Alright, so we had a Gemini shop. That was nice to see. Alright, we have one more area to explore and then I guess we can head off head off home. 
What is this area? The library. Okay. Let's look around, I guess. Guess there's no battling in the library. Oh, there's battling in the library. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be able to battle in a library. It's a goddamn library. Starting things out with a bundle bee. Six damage for a quick attack. Okay. Agility, you're already faster than me, so I guess that's an okay. Alright. Two to f two leers. It's like a three hit now, so we should be fine. Oh god, you got a critical hit and we barely lived. Lizzie coming in clutch at the end right there, dude. Holy shit. We need Lizzie to learn like another attack. That was a cheap shot. Not really. Alright, Lizzie coming in clutch right there. Let's go ahead and heal up. Alright. Yo, did you see anything? Uh, no. Good, now scram. What are you looking up on your computer? Whoa, 4,000 for shipping. No thanks. My dream Pokemon is S Cavalier. No wait, Excelgore. Ah, I can't choose between them. And you're gonna battle me now because of it. Okay. Well, he has Shelmet, so doesn't that mean he has to go with uh, a Selgore? That thing, that did no damage. Jesus. Shelmet must have the defense. We're in a predicament. I think it's time for us to just start spamming tackle because we just got our special defense dropped. Not sure if Asti can poison, but I'm hoping it can't. Now it's doing seven to hit. Okay, time to tackle. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. GG Shelmet. Uh-huh. My poor Shelmet. <laughs> no. There's a lot of people here. Everyone knows it's just a ripoff of League of Legends. Damn. Savage. Gank, gank, gank. Afro heals for the win. Attack left lane. Only thing worse than homework is a whiner. God, I hate homework so much. I guess he was talking about her. <laughs> Alright. It's pretty a big ass library, dude. Got an X speed for free. I'll take it. They did sell battle items. So if we need battle items, I know where to go get them. You can actually use a special stone to vault Eevee into each evolution. Interesting. Heard Miss Woolsey is a head heart scale collector. Interesting. Can't take anyone using a Rattata seriously. Wow. The disrespect. Hey user, what's up? Ah, Lauren. Just up to my usual. What are you up to over here? Well, you know that final exams are coming up. So I'm actually working on a cheat sheet. Uh, for the written portion, anyway. Your timing is perfect, actually. Think you could help me out with a few things? I've gotten most of, my, most of the material from the old textbooks and past exams. There are a few things I'm not too familiar with. So, user, what do you say? Sure. Sure, you did help me out with Woos Woosley's exam a few months back, after all. So, what's the problem? Okay, there are a few things I'm not too sure about. To make it more simple, I've split them in all into their respective categories. We got history, geography, and statistics. Where should we start, user? Let's start with history. Fair enough. All right, the first question is pretty straightforward. In what year was the Zion League first created? How the fuck should I know? 1960. All right. Uh, 1981. Damn. Is it like, is it like written somewhere? Cause I don't fucking know. It's either 2002 or, you know what, let's go, let's go modern. 2002. God damn it, it was the first one. Shit. 
I should have went with the oldest one. Nineteen forty-three. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's it, user. The Zion League was officially established in nineteen forty-three after its official creation by the Mobley twins, along with their council cousin Basil and their aunt Flora. Oh, I can't believe it's come this far. All right, next question. After the league opened in 1943, six months passed before the first person claimed the champion title. It was a woman. A woman named Martina Alvarez. She was 26 years old at the time. She was also known as the Scarlet Blade. Interesting. What was Martina's signature Pokemon? Okay, Scarlet Blade. Fuck, the, God damn, I thought I was coming up with something. They all have blades. Scizor, Kabutops, Aegislash, and Basharp. Well, my favorite Pokemon is Aegislash, so why wouldn't you want that as your ace? Shit. Alright, 1943. Alright, hold on. Scarlet Blade. Scarlet, isn't that, like, reddish? So, Scizor. Fuck, dude! God damn it. It's either Kabutops or Basharp. What? Mmm. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with Basharp next. I swear to God, if it's Kabutops, I'm going to fucking shoot somebody. <laughs> it better not be Kabutops. It better be Basharp. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, that's it. That's it, user. It says so right here. Martina used a wide variety of Pokemon, but she was always kept one in particular at her side. A Basharp that she referred to as Lucy. Apparently, Martina earned her nickname during her battles with the Elite Four members. Her Basharp actually sliced open the stomach of a Snorlax with a Night Slash attack. Jesus Christ. Resulting in the entire arena being covered in scarlet-colored blood. Wow, that's fucking brutal. Yeah, no, no shit. Alright, let's continue. Zion Region... Zion League currently requires a trainer to collect 18 badges. However, this wasn't always the case. The league expanded after the discovery of several new types of Pokemon over the years. How many badges were originally required for entry to the Zion League? Okay. Original. So the original typings, didn't they? They added Fairy, Dark, and Steel, right? Like, weren't. Like, those are the only new typings, right? So 15? Oh shit, it's one digit. Eight? How many original typings were they? Because I know they added Steel and Dark in Gen 2. And then they added Fairy in Gen 6. So there's 18 currently, that's 15, but it's only one digit. 1943. Sharp. How many badges were originally required for entry? It has to be one digit because it doesn't. We can't enter a second digit, so it's zero to nine. Six? I'm trying to think of like even numbers. God damn it, dude. How the fuck should I know? Uh, it's not eight. It's not six. Is it nine? Nope. Ah. Uh. Is it, like, written somewhere? If we get this one wrong, I'm going to look around a bit, see if it's, like, written somewhere. Okay. I see something glowing back here. Huh. What's this? Charred key. There's a note here. Whoever finds this, take that thing far away from here. Okay. I saw that, I saw that kind of glowing when I was talking. It's like this shit like written down somewhere it's not 
six, it's not eight, and it's not nine. It's over here. I'll come back to that, but I want to look around more a bit. Info, claim reward. The Community Assist Assistance Board, also known as the CAB, was created in order to encourage people to help each other. Here people can post requests or jobs they may need help with. Anyone can complete that job and return here for a reward. Okay. Any jobs I can do right now? Nobody wants to talk to me. Institute Throwdown. It's that time again, folks. The annual Institute Throwdown is here. Anyone interested in competing must have a partner. The winning pair will receive a cash prize as well as other valuables. Good luck to all. 6K. Alright, so we can do that. So we have the Institute Throwdown, and then we also have to finish this bitch's uh, thing. I guess we'll just go... Oh, hello. So I guess she's going to be our partner for that. Uh, I'm going to go back down here real quick to finish this off. Have I talked to you? Yes, I have. All right, so I'm just going to go through every number. So I don't know. It's not, it doesn't look like it's written down anywhere. So we tried 6, 8, and 9. Let's try 7 next, I guess. Actually, no, let's not try seven. Let's try... I didn't type... God damn it. I better get something good for this. Okay, but sharp. Try five. Nope. I don't think it's seven. Seven seems like a weird number for it to be. But I guess we'll try seven. So I don't want to go through every number and then it be seven at the end. Oh my god, it was seven. Oh, that's right. User, you're on fire. Original league had seven gym leaders. One for grass, ground, water, rock, ice, fire, and bug types. wonder how battles were conducted back then. Awesome. Thanks a ton, user. History section is all done. So let me organize all my notes and we can get started on another section. Oh god, there's more sections. Hey, you're back. Ready for your next portion? Sure. Geography next. Alright, let's do it. So first question is landmark related. Which of these landmarks are not located in Southern Zeon? Hellfire, Sea of Storms, the Big Blue. Fuck. Sea of Storms. Fuck. That. Oh my god. I swear I'm so stupid sometimes. The Bulwark Center is up north in Howard, and Howard is obviously still in Central Zeon. Even though they have an annual Mega Evolution convention there. Really hope I can save enough money to go this year. Would love to finally have my own Mega Ring. But enough, uh, enough of that. Let's move on. Something, something, something the Zion was identified as a Galadite. Sometime in the late 70s. Where was this Mega Stone found? Uh, Starlight Valley. Fuck. Uh, Mount Korra. Fuck. Unknown? I did Fuck! God damn it! I'm trying to get through it, but... Mm. Are you shitting me? Come on. The Bulwark Center. Unknown? 
In all honesty, I think you may be right. I've gone through all texts at least 10 times and it literally says nothing about the location. Uh, I think this might actually just be a hoax or even a trick question. So I'm gonna assume that the later, the latter for now. All right, almost done with this section. One more question. It's probably the easiest one, but I'm honestly not too knowledgeable about events outside of Zion. So apparently somewhere there is a city that happened to be built right on top of a sacred ruin de dedicated to Arceus or something. Some group of rascals blew up a big staircase to get into the ruin only to be met with a door that requires four keys. They then proceeded to rip and tear through the region until they were stopped by a group of gym leaders and other powerful trainers. With one in particular being the big hero who silently led the charge against these radicals and eventually wiped them out. Which region am I referring to? Uh, so I'm guessing it's a region of some other fan games. So I see Reborn right there. Is it Reborn? Are you sure? Alright, that's what we'll go with. I just took a guess there. I haven't played Reborn in a while. I plan to do another playthrough of it on the channel, but I just haven't had the time. Alright, user. That's two down, one to go. Hope you don't mind helping me with the last section. You're still down, just help let me out. Alright, last section. Let's get it done right now. Statistics portion. Mind you, I'm terrible with numbers, so you may have to take charge of this one. I used my calculator for most of these questions, but there's still two that I can't seem to get. Alright, first question. You have an adamant Tauros holding a life orb with sheer force ability on one side. On the other side, you have a Toxicroak that has set up one swords dance. Both are preparing to use Zen Headbutt on a fully defense-invested Garbodor. Which of the two Pokemon will deal greater amount of damage? I don't know anything about competitive battling. Zen Headbutt is a physical attack. Toxicroak? Oh, wow, by a long shot. Okay, yeah. Taros will deal around 70-ish percent damage with a full roll, while Toxicroak with a Swords Dance setup has a chance to one-shot the same Garbodor. Good to know, I'll keep that in mind for sure. Alright user, just one more question and we're all finished. Which of these Pokemon has the highest base speed stat? Ninjask. Speed stat of... 160, holy shit yeah, outspeeding everything for you. Yeah, I know Ninjask the fast as fuck. Oh my god user, that's it, we're finished. I'm free at last, ha ha ha. Just hold on for one second. And presto. And I present you the final product. I got a cheat sheet. Nice, now I just need to pass this test, pass this along. Thank you so much, user. You've done a great service to the students at this school today. Here, user, just some small tokens of my appreciation. Hey, got a rare candy. Hey, got some wise glasses. Uh, I can't thank you enough for this. But excuse me, I'm going to go get some well-deserved sleep. You know what? That's worth it, dude. If you want some, if you want a sweet, if you want a rare candy, you want some glasses. What do those even do, by the way? Slightly boosts the power of special moves. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I guess we'll go ahead and do the uh, that tournament, the battle thingy with what's her face up here. Come on, you can't be serious. Book is only a day late. Regardless of how late your return is, the institute has a strict policy. If you want to avoid late fees in the future, I advise you return your books on time. Well, geez, I never would have thought that of that lovely solution. You deserve a raise. A promotion, even. Maybe a picture on the cover of Go Fuck Yourself magazine. <laughs> Damn. Late fee is 3k. Are you crazy? I don't have that kind of money. Oh, okay, so that's why she's going to want to do the tournament. Because the prize is 6k, and I guess we'll split it. 3k each. Then we have nothing more to discuss. Mind you, it's an additional 1k for each day that passes. Now please step away from the counter. Douche. Away from the counter now. Hey, just who was... Jay, hey, uh, what? Hey, just who I was looking for. Hey, user, what's up? Looks like you, you're in need of cash. Yeah. 3k late fee, though. That's bullshit. Perhaps we can help each other out. All right, I'm listening. Have you heard about the throwdown? Of course. But it's a 2v2, uh, 2v2 tournament this time around. I don't have a partner. <laughs> Clears throat. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, shit, duh. We can wreck everything together, user. And I'll have the cash for this late fee. 
So do you want to pair up for the thing then? Ha. Huh. Uh, with all due respect, user, I'm not in a position to carry you to victory. Damn. You should really train up a bit, at least to level 10 before we attempt this. Okay, so. Alright, so I gotta get to level 10. Got it. I'm at level currently 8, and I think I can get to 10. We, we still have to fight that guy with the fucking Inke, and I have a rare candy. So if we use both of those, we can get to level 10. So let's go heal up. I, don't even, I honestly don't remember where that guy was at. I think he was up north up here. Pretty sure it was like to the left. This guy with the Inke is going fucking down, dude. Yeah, he's right there. Let's heal up. Let's also buy some fresh water. I think we're like a level higher than last time. So I'm just hoping we can do more damage. Do this, you nerd. That still does more than half of my damage. Why does... Ugh! Dude, that is so annoying. Why does that do so much? I get why it does so much. It's foul play and it's an inke, but... God damn it. Okay, that didn't work out. Ah, uh, okay, you know what? We'll do the throwdown later. Let's just go out for now. Pretty sure we can still do the throwdown later. Let's let's go out and like do something else for now though. Ah. Uh, hello, we're outside. Okay. And actually, you know what, guys? Now that we're outside, you now we can smell the trees, can look at the flowers and the Nidoran playing around. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off right here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. I'll uh, see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Conspiracy. Thanks for watching again. And, uh, yeah, peace out.